What's up, YouTubers? This is your boy, Big Metroid Fan 12, coming to you with another video game review. And this time I'm reviewing Captain America and the Avengers, which was released on the NES by Data East. And it is worth noting that uh, this game was also released on the in the arcades and later ported on the um, Super Nintendo, Nintendo Game Boy. Sega Genesis and Sega Game Gear, but I will be reviewing uh, the NES version, and and it's and the NES version is pretty much different than the other versions that I mentioned. And that's is like one of the reasons why I'm reviewing the NES version. Now the plot is that um, Captain America and Hawkeye have to um, rescue. Uh, Iron Man and Vision while defeating Red Skull in the process. And now, in the game, Captain America and Hawkeye will travel through uh, pretty much 22, 23 stages, which are really like different cities within the United States, like New York City, New York City, Dallas, Texas, Tampa, Florida, some places like that. And you will either play as um, Captain America or, or uh, Hawkeye on each stage. Now, and their uh, moves are like fundamentally different, different based on that power. So you know what I'm saying? Now, Captain America pretty much throws his shield, and he also uses his shield to float on water, and he he can tackle also. While Hawkeye pretty much shoots his arrows, uh, he can punch, and he can also shoot his arrows diagonally. And I can say that, it, it, in a way, they're, um, each state's character specific, but it, but it seemed like none of the stages, like, work to their... It's pretty much like a standard stage, they don't necessarily play to the strength of either Captain America and Hawkeye, you know, now, it seems like the only characters from the Avengers comic books uh, series are really uh, are Captain America, Hawkeye, Red Skull, apparently Ultron, uh, Crossbones, stuff like, uh, you know, it, it, Point is, it's not that many characters from the um, from the comic book series and stuff. Plus, you can pretty much play in a battle mode where you pick one of the uh, Avengers to, to pin up to go up against one of the enemies, and it's pretty much a two-player fighting game. You know, so this it, it, this is pretty much the two modes that you that you can play in. The single player campaign and the uh, two player fight with the mode, which is called Battle Mode. Now, the graphics and level designs are pretty good and it has pretty, pretty decent uh, color palettes and everything. And the pretty much the stages are not that um, hard to, to traverse, you know what I'm saying? If you, if you like falling in the water and everything, you can like go back to a particular spot. And, and jump back to the platform and, and like head for the stage and everything. Now the the um gameplay is pretty decent. I, I do like the fact that um that Captain America and Hawkeye pretty much have their own moves. You, you know what I'm saying? And and be truthful, that that is to be expected based on what their powers are. You know what I'm saying? Of course, you know, Captain America is going to use his shield and Hawkeye is going to use his bow and arrow and stuff. So, what would you expect? You know what I'm saying? Not a bad thing, I'm just saying. In the, in the, in the, in the, in the, he pretty much did a good job with the soundtrack, even though it didn't necessarily set new ground, set new standards, you know what I'm saying? And I also do like the fact that, um, the, the game is not necessarily short when you're playing like the main main mode when you're um, traveling to different cities and stuff. 
and it had a decent number of stages, and, you know, different cities that you can travel to, you know what I'm saying, and, now, uh, it is worth noting that, to me, LJN, not LJN, but, um, Data East was more faithful to the source material of the, um, Avengers comic book series than LJN was with the Spider-Man and X-Men comic book series, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to video adaptation of, of these, uh, comic books on the yes, they did a better job than LJN in terms of the graphics, level design, gameplay, and all, and all that, you know what I'm saying, now, Captain Avengers and Captain America and the Avengers on the NES is a pretty decent game, and it's pretty much worth checking out, and I would definitely recommend it to uh, retro gamers and, and gamers who do uh, less plays on their YouTube channel, and those gamers who are fans of the Avengers comic book series. As far as the score is concerned, I, I would definitely give it a 7 out of 10. The main, one of the main complaints that I've had is that in order for you to leave any stage, you have to get an um, a exit icon at some point during the game. I got to say that it doesn't necessarily make, it don't make sense to have that in the game, but it's not worth harping over either, you know what I'm saying, it's, I did, they, they could have left that, uh, exit icon out, you know what I'm saying, I can honestly say it's one of the better, um, video games based off of the comic book, you know, with that being said, if you play, um, Captain America and Avengers on the NES and you like it, you can mention it in the comment section, and if you like my review of Captain America and the Avengers on the NES, you don't hesitate to click the thumbs up button, don't hesitate to share it, and don't forget to, to subscribe, this is your boy Big Metro Fan 12 signing off.